Hi everyone, my name's Arian, and this is my very first YouTube video ever. Um, if you're watching this, thank you so much for being here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get this look right here. Um, it's a smoky wing liner with a bold lip. Alright, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So first I'm going to start off with the Bliss Fabulous Drench and Quench Moisturizer. Can you see that? While that sets in, I'm going to do some Vaseline on my lips. The one I'm using is the Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. So I usually like to start off doing my eyebrows first, um, and then my eye makeup, and then my face makeup. Um, I just find that it makes my whole look come out a little bit cleaner. Um, so for eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Cabrow Benefit gel in number four. I don't know if you guys can see that. And to apply that I'm going to be using my Anastasia eyebrow brush. So first what you're going to do is brush through your brows upwards so that way we can do the bottom of the brow first. And then you want to draw a line on the bottom of your brow. And then using the edge of your brush, you're going to push it up to blend it out. If you find that it's still a little bit chunky, go ahead and use the spoolie at the end and brush through one more time. Okay, for the top part of the brow, you're going to brush the hairs down. And then you're going to draw a line on the top. And then the same thing, but you're just going to drag it down. Now that the brows are all done, I'm going to set with a clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So starting with my eyes, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light 1 Chantilly. And I'm just going to use this to clean up my brows a little bit. And using the Morphe M224 brush, you're going to want to use this and clean up the brows. looks crazy but don't worry it's not gonna stay looking like that and then using a Luxie 229 tapered blending brush I'm just going to blend everything in To prime my eyelids, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And using the same brush, I'm just going to blend this all over the lid. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I'm just going to use a lighter shade to set my crease to brow bone. Okay, now I'm going to use some tape, tape of my eyes. And this will help along the process to get that clean edge so we get that nice clean smoky liner and you want to place this a little bit 
underneath the eye. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking um, a light brown shade from my Morphe 35O palette. And this is going to work as our transition shade. When you're applying eyeshadow, you want to start at the outer edge of the eye. Wherever you place your brush is where you're going to get the most product. And then use windshield wiper and small circular motions to blend it all over the crease. Now using the Luxie 205 tapered blending brush, you're just going to blend the edges. Now using a pencil brush from Morphe, this is the M222, I'm going to take a medium brown shade and use that to start drawing the smoky liner. Okay, now I'm going to take the excess product off of my brush and use that to blend the edges. I almost forgot, I'm going to use a light cream shade and set the lid with this. Now using a, another pencil brush, I just squeeze the tip so that it's a little bit tapered. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to use this to apply a dark shadow a little bit closer to the inner part of the liner. I'm going to be using a eye pencil, a black eye pencil, and I'm going to use that in the very inner part of the liner. Now I'm going to be using a black shadow from the 35N palette. And I'm going to use this to smoke out the liner I just put down. Okay, now that the eyes are all done for now, I'm going to remove the tape and start on my face. For foundation today, I'm going to be using Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the Dewy and Smooth in the shade Ivory 115. I'm just going to pour a little bit of this on a palette and use a Real Techniques blending sponge to blend it all out. Now using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer again, I'm going to use this to clean up under my eyes and highlight. I'm going to bring some of this down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then blend it all in. For some reason I wasn't recording, but I just added contour, blush, and highlight. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with the pencil brush, the same one that I use for the medium brown. And smoke out that lower lash line. Then using the brush that I use for the transition shade, I'm just going to blend it out. And then using an angled brush, I'm just going to go in with that black shade and just darken the lower lash line a little bit. Next I'm going to go back in with that black eye pencil and just 
line the waterline and tighten my eye. Using the same highlight, I'm going to highlight my inner corners and also my brow bone. Okay, next I'm just going to curl my lashes and add some mascara. Okay, I'm back and lastly I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Trust Issues. And I'm going to be using a smudge brush from Sephora to put this on. Okay guys, this is my finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!